Now, whenever two or more resistance levels are in close proximity, use the highest level as the resistance level. And the entire price area where you have two or more resistance levels in close proximity is called the resistance zone. So, in this case, you would use this level as the resistance level and not this level, okay? Because this one is higher. And because these levels are in close proximity, we call this the resistance zone. Okay, uh, here is another example. We use the highest level. We never use these as the resistance level. We use the highest level. So this is a resistance zone. So whenever the market moves above a resistance level, it's no longer a resistance level. It's now a past resistance level. So the resistance levels on this chart are R1, R2, R3, and R4. Now, the same goes for support. When two or more support levels are in close proximity, we use the lowest level as the support level and the entire price area where you have two or more support levels in close proximity is called a support zone. So this is a support zone because we have one, two, three support levels in close proximity. And remember, in order for a level to be a support, it has to have two candles to the left and two candles to the right that are higher than it. So this would not have been a support. Why? Because this only have one candle to the left that is higher than it. This can be a support because it has one, two candles to the left that are higher than it. And it has one, two, three. It has two candles to the right that are also higher than it. So this can be a support. So on this chart, we have one, two, three, four, five, six support levels. Now take your time and try and identify the support and resistance levels on this chart. You can pause the video and try and identify the support and resistance levels. Now, did you get these? These are the support and resistance levels on this chart. So this is our first resistance, this is our second resistance, and this is our third resistance. Remember, these are past resistance because the market has risen above these levels. So these levels, they are no past resistance level, okay? These are past support levels. These are not support levels. These are past support levels, okay? Past support, past resistance. Now, can you identify the support and resistance levels on this chart? You can pause the video and try and identify as much support and resistance as you can. Okay, now here are the support and resistance levels. We can see our first resistance level here, second resistance, third resistance, fourth resistance, and our fifth resistance. These are pass resistance. Remember, pass resistance, pass resistance. Okay, now on this chart, we only have one support level, and it is this support level. Because all the other levels are pass support levels. Remember, pass support, pass support, pass support, because here's where the market's at. The market has fallen below these levels, so these levels are no longer support levels. These levels are now past support levels. This is the only support level we can see in this picture. All these levels are past support levels, just as these are past resistance levels.